ton of options here and very versatile device. Your cameras, preamps probably are not going to make it because they sound too metal construction and probably four times heavier than the Zoom F2. So if your microphone needs extra power and punch, then this can supply that. The Zoom F2, it does not have a USB audio interface. What does that mean? But this does not have 32-bit float. So real quick, what is 32-bit float? That's a good feature of the Zoom F3 because it's not gonna go too high or too low depending on how softly or loudly I speak. We all want the audio in our video to sound as best as possible. That's why I'm holding this external recorder. This is a Zoom F2 and this one has 32-bit float recording. I did an extensive review on this. Click here at the top for a link to it. But even this is not without drawbacks, which is why I have the Tascam DR05X as well. But even these two have limitations even if we have both of them which is why i have another unboxing here this is going to replace the zoom f2 as well as the tascam dr05x and effectively we get rid of these two the price of this amazing device is going to be 20 dollars or almost the same as these two devices together you would get better sound quality better preamps more inputs and professional quality audio with this. So before I unbox that, let me tell you the limitations. Number one is the Tascam DR05X. This is like an entry level audio recorder, external audio recorder. Your cameras, preamps probably are not gonna make it because the sound quality might not be that good, which is why people opt for an external recorder that has better preamps even a cheap one like this is better than the camera's preamps so this actually has two inputs here on the sides two microphones and that can record stereo but this is not going to be a very good quality sound you and besides that you're not going to be able to hold this in front of you without people noticing such a huge device in front of you so that is why we use lavalier microphones like this and with this you can clip it to your shirt i'm not wearing a shirt which is why i can't clip it all the way to my neck here and lavalier microphone should not be clipped too close to your um, under your chin basically the Tascam does have an input for a line in you can plug in an external lavalier microphone but this does not have 32-bit float so real quick what is 32-bit float more bits means more information usually audio is recorded in traditional recorders with a lower bit rate of 24 bits or so which means there's less information but when you have 32 bit float it has more information so louder sounds they don't get way too loud and they don't just clip and soft sounds do not just collect the external ambient noises the soft sounds can be raised up without actually raising the noise level such as a fan or something else in your environment so which is why 32-bit float comes in very handy especially if you don't want to set levels and stuff so in the beginning of an interview maybe something somebody's speaking very softly and as they go on they might be louder so you don't want to start playing around with all those levels which is why 32-bit float comes in and the zoom f2 has 32-bit float so you would ask why wouldn't i just settle with the zoom f2 because it has 32-bit float the reason is the Zoom F2, it does not have a USB audio interface. What does that mean? The Tascam does have a USB audio interface. That means that I cannot connect the Zoom F2. It has a USB port, but I cannot connect it to a computer to make this a USB audio device. Although I can connect it for charging and connectivity, such as get access to the SD card in it, this zoom f2 it will not act like your computer's microphone why does that matter that matters because right now i'm recording in the zoom f2 if i want to go over a presentation on my computer then i cannot use the same setup of the zoom f2 with the lavalier mic i have to depend on another device that has uh, audio interface and that would be the tascam in this case i was using this now why does that matter then the problem is your Zoom F2 with the lavalier mic is going to sound different with 
uh, when compared to the Tascam with the lavalier mic. So in your video, you'll have some part of the video that sounds like the Zoom F2 and some part that is not going to sound exactly the same. So inconsistency in sounds. So that is what the limitations are. The Zoom F2, it is great 32 bit float recorder, really small, although some cheap plastic parts, but this does not act as a USB audio interface. And on the other hand, the Tascam DR05X, this does not have 32 bit float, although it can act like a USB interface. So how much was this? $99, pretty standard price on Amazon. So that's $100. And the Zoom F2, $180, pretty standard price on Amazon. So $180 plus $100 is $280 just spend $19 more or $20 more and then you get the Zoom F3. The Zoom F3 is going to be awesome and I will demonstrate how because this is a professional quality audio recording device. It has two XLR inputs and better preamps, better overall sound quality. And we'll unbox this and take it to the testing and we will see how it is significantly better. So I'm gonna put this microphone aside and focus on the unboxing. I'll show you the unboxing. So right off the bat, the Zoom F3 is much better in build quality compared to the Zoom F2. Metal construction and probably four times heavier than the Zoom F2. It has this belt loop that goes around. It has two XLR inputs. It has a nice plastic lid for the battery compartment. On the Zoom F2, the battery compartment seems like it can break anytime. And this is overall a great build quality. I am gonna power this on. I have to put some batteries in. It needs two AA batteries. I'm not gonna make this video boring by going over all the specifications and stuff, except that I'm just gonna tell you a couple of things. This is 32-bit float. It accepts two XLR inputs, so we need a microphone that has an XLR connection. And like the Zoom F2, this does not need setting audio levels or anything. So the main features are it can act as a computer audio interface. Plus, it can also be a field recorder just like the Zoom F2. So two in one, it does the job of the Tascam and it also does the job of the Zoom F2. And because this has XLR inputs, before I power this on, I also want to tell you that this needs an XLR compatible microphone. So I bought this cheap Comica microphone that has XLR inputs. It is a lavalier mic, so we'll be using this with our Zoom F3. So there's the Zoom F3 and this is what you're listening to right now. I am wearing a sweater because I wanted to hook up this Comica XLR microphone, lovely microphone all the way to my shirt. And right now it is hooked just under my chin and not under my neck here, which would not sound that great. So that is how it'll sound with the Zoom F3. I am sure this sounds pretty good compared to the Zoom F2 and the Tascam DR05X. One major difference with the Zoom F2, of course, is the build quality. This is cheap, cheap plastic. And if you drop the Zoom F2, you're probably going to shatter this. And another thing to note is the Zoom F2 comes with this 3.5 mm microphone connection into the line in versus the Zoom F3 has the XLR connection that unfortunately means you don't have a whole lot of lavalier microphone options in the budget range. I only saw a couple of options, maybe few options, but some of them had very bad reviews. So the three and a half mm lavalier microphone family had a lot more options. But again, because this is the Zoom F3, even a cheap quality lavalier microphone, XLR lavalier microphone like this Comica is going to do a very good job. On the Zoom F3, you can see that you can press this record button. You can slide it up and that starts recording. There's a red light here indicating that it is recording. 
and as you can see here the right side is grayed out because I turned off the input on the right because nothing is connected there and on the left side is the input one and the input one is turned on which is why you see the waveform there this is being recorded in 32-bit float that's a good feature of the zoom f3 because it's not going to go too high or too low depending on how softly or loudly i speak so that is the main benefit of the 32-bit float like i was saying earlier all right now that we are listening to the zoom f3 we have it out let's go over all the ports and the design construction everything to give you a better idea of how sturdy and good quality this is on the bottom we have the line out we also have a headphone monitoring so what's the benefit of line out you can take the output of the zoom f3 and connect it to your camera and the camera will then have the audio feed from the zoom f3 which means you don't have to do any syncing in post your video file will have the audio good quality audio from your zoom f3 and syncing in post by the way is not too difficult but if you don't want to get into that business then you can definitely use the line out the headphone monitoring is if you want to monitor as you speak or as you are recording something if you also want to monitor it using a headphone you can use the headphone jack these are the volume controls for these two functions just the line out and the microphone so this volume button at the bottom it does not control the recording volume because if you remember recording levels cannot be set on the zoom f3 because it doesn't matter it has 32 bit float 32 bit float is going to be a file that you can zoom up or down i don't mean zoom up but you can increase the volume and reduce the volume and it's going to be just fine it's not going to increase the noise levels so that was the bottom on the right side we have the power button obviously and then we have the record option here if you slide it down it'll hold it which means you accidentally won't stop the recording on the top just a couple of xlr inputs input one and input two with this push here that locks it in place and you can release it as well on the back here you have a provision to probably mount it to a tripod or something although these belt loop clips they might come in the way this is not flush and on the left side we have the play button we have the stop button and we have the menu the play and stop are basically to control the playback if you want to listen to the recording you can use this to play and stop those and the menu it comes up with a lot of options you can select the language you can select the options that are applicable to your recording and i'm not going to go into all the details because they are pretty simple not a whole lot on the left we also have a usb c port some of these older devices like the tascam it uses the micro usb the old micro usb port thank god this has the USB-C port which is latest you can just plug in one of those latest USB-C cables and hook it to your computer and this can be used as a computer audio interface which is what I love about this there is the micro SD card slot it can support up to 512 GB of SD cards micro SD cards that means you can record for weeks on this device the zoom f3 just replaced my zoom f2 because the zoom f3 has the 32-bit float recording it also has superior audio quality compared to the zoom f2 the preamps are great the sound quality is much much better it is a little bit heavy four times or so heavy compared to this lightweight zoom f2 but then if you drop this nothing is going to happen to it because this is enclosed in a metal casing whereas this one is going to shatter and then the zoom f3 also replaces the tascam or any cheap audio device because the zoom f3 can also act as an audio interface so overall a win-win 300 dollars for this and then that just replaced these two which together were 280 dollars before i go i also want to tell you something real real quick is because these are xlr inputs you can actually connect an xlr microphone you can use a boom stand and have a good quality xlr microphone on top and you can have it 
above your screen above your frame so it's not visible in your video and that is also going to sound amazing this has phantom power it can supply up to 48 volts so if your microphone needs extra power and punch then this can supply that so uh, that is another benefit most xlr microphones will need that phantom power so this can supply that as well it runs using two AA batteries so you can change the batteries and you can also power this using the USB-C port that I was talking about. You can hook up a power bank or something and still power the Zoom F3. So ton of options here and very versatile device. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is how my friends you can get great quality audio for your videos and there is no humming or hissing or anything because your audio source is really close to you thank you so much for watching i hope you stay safe until next time goodbye namaste this was the zoom f3